and welcome to another episode of The Art of Cooking with Sally Gooden. I'm one of the Thrill Kill, aka Sally Gooden. This episode is dedicated to the teachers of America, those who are out there trying to teach children virtually, those who are there face to face, and those who are trying to make that decision of whether even to continue this career. I struggle with that same decision myself and that's why I decided to retire. So I'm going to share with you that I have retired as a retired teacher. This teacher has retired. I am the class of 2020. So I'm going to continue to pray for my fellow colleagues and hope that you make the best decision for yourself and your family. Now today we're making a recipe that my colleagues love. It disappeared like magic. I call it magical banana pudding. And in fitting with that magical banana pudding is the apron by James Threadkill called The Magic of Cooking. James Threadkill will be on later in the video to explain what inspired him to make the Magic of Cooking apron. And you can purchase this apron in the Shopify store. Also, make sure you click on the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Now that I'm retired, I'm going to be putting out as many videos as I can. So, here's the ingredients for the, the recipe for today, which is the banana pudding, magical banana pudding. Here are the ingredients. All right, we're gonna begin our banana pudding on the stove. If you have a double boiler, you're gonna need that. If not, if you can find two pots they can fit inside of each other. Uh, one with water at the bottom, as you know a double boiler has water at the bottom. Put your oven on high. And we're gonna start with the milk. Uh, we're gonna pour in the milk. And you're gonna have these slightly beaten eggs. I like to use a hand mixer when I mix, because I want everything mixed up real thorough. So I'm gonna make sure that my eggs are beaten in my way. I don't want any eggs showing. And also gonna go ahead and add the sugar so we can start dissolving. So this is going to start getting warm and come up to a boil. Once it does that, I'm going to add the uh, cornstarch. Uh, that's three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to also add, once the milk gets warm, the butter. Okay, now we're going to add our butter now that our milk, sugar, and eggs are kind of gotten warm. We're going to add, this is one third cup of butter. and. Let that melt inside well. Once the butter has melted into the liquid, we're going to add the three tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, now our butter has melted. And the last part, uh, next to the last part, we're going to add 
the three tablespoons of cornstarch is used as a thickening to thicken your pudding. This basically is the pudding. And we're gonna put the cornstarch in here. This is three tablespoons full. And we're gonna mix that in good well. And from there, it's gonna cook until it gets thick. Uh, pudding thick, I'm gonna put to the thickness that I wanted to get. And at the end, once it's thick and we add the flavoring at the end. Now you're gonna have to watch this uh, pudding. You're gonna have to watch this pudding because you don't want it to scald. You don't want it to scald. So every uh, five minutes or so, you're gonna have to come and kind of stir it up a little bit. And that's also so that you, you don't want it to get too thick because even once you take it off the oven, it'll still kind of be thickening up. So be sure you're coming and stirring every five minutes or so. And like I said, I like to use my mixer. If I want smooth it out. All right, I'm gonna put the top on here and I'm gonna come back in about two, three minutes and stir it up again. While my banana pudding is on the oven getting thick and cooking, I am gonna now layer my pan. So we have here the um, regular oval, oval, uh, square round pan, rectangular pan. I like to, you could be really neat and just kind of line them up, the cookies at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna be neat for the purpose of the video, but normally I just throw these cookies in here. Uh, you want the vanilla wafers, the red one. Some people may try to use the off-brand, but I'm gonna tell you, I wouldn't try the off-brand. Go ahead with the vanilla vanilla wafer. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're worth it as far as taste. Also, I've seen um, people use the Pepperidge Prom um, Chess King cookies. Uh, I've done those before. A lot of people like them. That's not for me though. I don't like them. I like old-fashioned vanilla wafers. So once I get the vanilla wafers at the bottom, you're gonna take your banana and peel it and slice it. I use six bananas. I layer three bananas at the bottom and I'm going to put a pudding on this layer of bananas and then after I pour the pudding on I'm going to put another layer of cookies and bananas. So I do three bananas at first and then the the second layer also has three bananas. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this and here's a message from the artist James Thrill Kill about this apron, The Magic of Cooking. Greetings YouTube viewers and thank you once again for tuning in to The Art of Cooking with Sally Gooding. I'm artist James Thrill Kill and happy to bring to you another apron to go along with the wonderful recipes that Wanda is preparing for this particular edition. The name of this apron is The Magic of Cooking, which represents Wanda's magic when she's in the kitchen cooking up those wonderful recipes. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and to share. But as always, we appreciate you tuning in and supporting our efforts in trying to bring you delicious meals and wonderful art on the apron. So enjoy the magic of cooking with the talented Wanda and Channing Thrill Kill. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Okay, so our pudding is ready now. You can tell by, as you see the streak marks that I'm making with the mixer inside, they let you know that your pudding is thick enough. And at this point, you're gonna add the vanilla flavoring. You can turn your oven off, mix that vanilla flavoring in there. And we are ready to add this, layer it in our pan. So now let's go layer it in our pan. We're gonna put, remember I had put the layer of vanilla wafers and bananas. So you're gonna spoon out this pudding on top. And 
clean broke. <laughs> That's half of the pudding mix. Now I'm going to put another layer of the banana pudding. I mean of the wafers and bananas. So you just lay another layer up here. If you like, you can put the, some people like to put the cookies on the side of their pan to make a decoration type of thing. Once we have layered the cookies in, we're getting the other three bananas and we're going to slice them up. Put them off also on here. If you like a lot of bananas, you can use more than six. All right, now, finally, take the last of the banana pudding. I'm going to spread it on the top. This has to be placed in the refrigerator for one to two hours. Now, old fashioned banana pudding has meringue. I am not a meringue person. That's the uh, meringue is made from eggs. It's whipped up. I don't use the meringue. I use Cool Whip or some type of whip top. So we're going to let this cool in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover it. Put it in the refrigerator, wait a couple hours, and put the whipped topping in. Okay, I'm going to add a little bonus for you. I recently went to a restaurant called the Studio Cafe in Fayetteville. It is a upscale buffet and one of the, the desserts I watched the chef cook was called a banana foster. And apparently this is from New Orleans, a famous restaurant in New Orleans that created the banana foster. So, this is my attempt to give you a bonus of the banana foster's foster. First, you're gonna put up, this is about four tablespoons of butter melted. While that butter is melting, you're gonna go ahead and kind of slice your bananas. Now, this is the way they slice the bananas. Um, they did small slices on the bananas, but I also seen them do bananas in fourths. So, we're going to just at an angle. I'm going to slice these bananas at an angle, like that. And I'm going to use two bananas. And this was a simple recipe and very tasty. Also involves a skill called flambe. So this has to be flambe, which is basically set on fire. So we're gonna let the butter melt. As the butter is melting, we add our bananas. going to stir that stir our bananas in there like that the bananas are not mushy they kind of have a little stiffness to them you don't want mushy already mushy bananas now a cup of brown sugar this is the light brown sugar this is to help make the banana foster um, glaze that it makes. Delicious glaze. 
I'm gonna stir that in. Also with a little seasoning, we're doing it with cinnamon and nutmeg. And also for this banana foster, you want a, this is about two tablespoons of banana liqueur. Two tablespoons for, and that's for flavor. All right, the banana pudding has cooled. It's been in the refrigerator for about an hour. And now, like I say, I don't use the meringue. I just take some of the whipped topping and I'm gonna smooth it on. Like this, spoon it in and smooth it on. That is so delicious. I promise you this is called magical banana pudding because it will not last long. It disappears. Every time I've served this, it disappears. Alright. There we go. Now, I'm going to take the banana foster. I'm going to use a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And I'm going to take a spoonful of the banana foster. And I'm just going to spoon that over. This is something that has to be served immediately. As you know, when you have warm things on top of the banana, I mean warm things on top of ice cream, of course the ice cream will be So, and then we'll take a scoop of our banana pudding and place it in here. There we go. You see the inside of that. we are. Also probably take like a spoonful of this whipped topping and maybe top off the banana foster. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like my video, look for future videos, pass my name along, help me get a hundred uh, look, 1,000 subscribers. We need 1,000 subscribers so YouTube can say, hey, there she is. Here is the magic of cooking apron that will be located on the Shopify store. And until the next time, take care of yourselves. Pray for our teachers. And uh, make sure you try these desserts.